Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're going to breach a subject that the internet has had a lot to say about it. Does top wrapping a Les Paul actually make a difference? Yep, I'm going there. Top wrapping a Les Paul. I haven't had one around. So now that I have one, we have a top wrap Les Paul. We have some strings. We have some other stuff here. Let's do some tests and figure out uh, what the deal is with this top wrapping thing pretty much once and for all. So, what is the claim? The claim is that when you top wrap a Les Paul, it's easier to bend. It's slinkier when you're bending strings and playing, and so that's why you top wrap it. And the reasoning behind it is because of the difference in the break angle of the strings. Well, let's go ahead and do a test. It's pretty much a given, right? That when you play a guitar uh, and you want to bend, like you want to go a full step, okay? it's gonna take that far, it's gonna have to bend that far. And in order to go that far, it takes a certain amount of pressure to push it there. So one would assume that because we top wrap the Les Paul, maybe it wouldn't need to go as far, but most importantly, maybe it will take less pressure to push it up a full step. Here's what we're gonna do. I got one of these pull scales, and basically the way this works is, you pull here, and it measures in grams how much pressure it takes to pull. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch the strings. They're brand new strings, so we're doing this totally fair. I got a bunch of strings here. We bought a bunch of strings today. And we're going to stretch them like I always stretch them. And we're going to bend at the 12th fret up one step. We're gonna mark that with a piece of tape on the adjacent fret so we know how far it has to go. And then we're gonna go ahead and use this scale and we're gonna pull and measure how much pressure it takes to pull that string at the 12th fret from one note from you know the G to the A on the G string. Then we're gonna switch the setup and we're gonna do it again and we're gonna measure it again and let's look at our results. What I'm hoping is this will tell us if there is a difference in A, how far the string has to bend and B, how much pressure it takes. Because if there's less pressure that needs to be pulled to go up a step, then we're like, oh, well this is making it more flexy. It's making it more, uh, you know, slinky, playable uh, by doing this. And we'll be able to measure on here how much more slinky it is in grams. Pretty cool, huh? Let's do it. First of all, I'm not a scientist. I'm a YouTuber and I build guitars for a living and I build pickups for a living. So my test for this is the best I could do what I know about this issue. So if you say angry things or stupid things in the comments about you should have done it 20 different ways or whatever, I number one, expect that. And number two, if you have a better way, do the test, upload the video and I will share it because um, I want to be more constructive. I want you to be more constructive in the comments to the videos about this kind of stuff, especially. We've got a regular tailpiece uh, across a natural bridge. Everything's set up, the guitar is set up, it plays great, it's fine. I've got a tuner here, and what we're gonna do is I am actually going to, I think I'm just gonna use the 12th fret, and I'm going to play the note. I'm gonna bend it up to get it in tune. I have to do this in playing position to really get it right. We're gonna take a piece of tape and we're gonna mark, first of all, how far we had to bend it. I'm gonna do it in the adjacent fret. So we'll see if I can pull this off. So let's do it here. So there's my G. All right, there's my A. So it's marked right there. Mark this in the adjacent fret. And so what we have there is a mark to show how far up to the top of that string that bend goes, okay? We're gonna take this pull scale that I bought that measures to one kilogram. Tweak this a little bit because I just want it to be as accurate as possible. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it at the 12th fret, and we're gonna get another piece of tape. And we're gonna pull this string up to where that note then is a full step up. So we're gonna pull it up to here, right there. It's a little sticky, I'm trying to be as accurate as I can about this. Let me 
Okay, so that's how far you have to pull that string up. That's how much pressure it takes to pull the string up a full step at the 12th fret with the strings not top wrapped. I bought a bunch of sets of strings just to waste just for this. We have to change all the strings because I don't want to scratch the top of that bridge. I was going to use a different, or the top of that uh, tailpiece. I was going to use a different tailpiece. So we have to change all the strings. Let's tune this thing up. Go ahead and stretch the strings, make sure we're... I do my same kind of stretching routine on all sets of strings when I put them on. We want to be fair, even though, so there's something we should talk about here. Uh, the tension of the string does not change when we do this. Otherwise, it'd be a different note. It'd be out of tune. What we're trying to decide is if it's easier to bend it up one step, top wrap, versus not. The tension of the string between the two points, here and here, never changes. Because if it did, it's a different note. Okay, so here's something very interesting. I'm gonna mark this. In order to get to the same pitch, you actually had to bend the string further. So what does that say? You actually had to, I did not expect this. You actually had to bend the string further with it top wrapped to get it to the same exact pitch. I did not expect that to change. I thought that would be the same, okay? So, that's really interesting. Well, there's your answer. The bottom piece of tape is top wrapped. The top piece of tape is not top wrapped. So what that means, hang on, let's get this right. Let's get this right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we know from just a minute ago uh, that you actually have to pull it up a little bit further to get the same pitch. So not top wrapped, you didn't have to pull the string as far to get it up to the same pitch. So now let's measure, and just for clarification, when that scale comes down to that right there, Okay, that is right about right there. That is where the old one was. So in all intents and purposes, if we don't come down that far, then we've got less tension. If we go further, we've got more tension. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. We'll pull it in the same exact spot and I'm gonna pull this up to where we now need to be to be an eight. And I'm gonna wiggle it a little bit because it is a little sticky. We, this is not like the most scientific piece of equipment here. It's gonna blow your mind, folks. It actually took more tension, more, more tension to pull that string up to the same pitch than it did when it was not top wrapped. This is the opposite of what everybody says happens when you top wrap a Les Paul. Well, 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 before you jump through the internet and you tell me I'm not a scientist and all this kind of stuff, I'm a guitar player, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a pickup builder, and I'm a guitar builder. I don't care about the result of this. I'm not gonna top wrap my Les Paul for other reasons, like major stress on the windings of the strings right here as it comes over the back tailpiece I just I don't think it's worth it it's just, I don't I don't like personally doing it so it's no big deal but let's talk about these results a little bit I was really really surprised to tell you the truth I did not know that you were gonna actually have to pull the string up further to get to the same note I don't know why and I'm not gonna get into a scientific I tell you sometimes on this channel that if I don't know why I will tell you I don't know why I don't know why 
I'm not going to come up with some pseudoscience as to why that happened. I, I don't know. All I know is you had to pull the string up further with it top wrapped than not top wrapped. The other thing that we figured out is that it is about 150 more grams tension. It took 150 grams more to pull that string up a full step. Why is there more tension than less when everybody says there's less? I have a few theories about it. Uh, one of the things is the friction that you introduce when you do this because you've got a lot more friction here. I mean, you can change the pitch of this when you bend the string. So we know that all of this is moving. Um, we know 100% for sure that from the anchor point all the way to the anchor point, so from the ball end all the way to the tuner, the whole string moves when you bend the string, not just between the saddle and the nut. So we know that. So that also means that if we introduce friction outside over here, uh, that's bad. We don't want to introduce friction anywhere on the guitar. So introducing friction here uh, could be the reason, I, I don't know. Um, but the bottom line is we have a very conclusive, very conclusive. Um, and I checked this a bunch of times. I mean, we're not talking about like the most precision thing here. I bought this thing off of Amazon for like 12 bucks. But 150 grams is not nine grams. If we were only talking like four or five grams difference or nine or 10 grams difference of pressure, uh, you could say, okay, margin of error. But 150 grams is, is quite a lot. Uh, 150 grams is about 5.3 ounces. It's over a quarter of a pound. So we're not talking about like little tiny margin of error here. We're talking about a significant amount. What do you think? Go ahead and put it in the comments. This is interesting. This is a surprise. I honestly thought that I was going to have to, as a result of this experiment, change my opinion about this. Uh, because I've long held that this is stupid and that there's no reason to do it. Um, and that it adds friction and that it's not gonna make anything better, but I've never tested it for myself. And so, finally, uh, my suspicions were confirmed. I am surprised. I fully thought that I was gonna have to change my mind on this deal. <laughs> Um, but there you go. Top wrapping on a Les Paul makes it worse. Who to thunk? Hit the like button on this video. I know you might not like the, the result of the video, but this is the sort of thing that's fun, like really figuring stuff out. And I know you enjoy the fact that we do that. So do me a favor and hit that like button because it does help. And hit the subscribe button and the share button. I'd like to get other people's opinions on this as well. Uh, it seems fairly conclusive. If there is a mechanical engineer or an electronic engineer, or mechanical engineer actually, um, that would know more about this than me, who is not just going to be stuck in some I did it this way since 1959 and who can look at this objectively with me, I would love to hear from you um, as to why and more and you know let's let's dive into some of the physics of it that I'm not sure of. All I know is I have these results here. So, uh, Please do that in the comments. This would be really fun. Uh, let's go look at some comments from the last video. All right, so it looks like um, we don't necessarily have a specific comments from, from the comment section to talk about. Nothing major, but people really want to know what next project build we want to do. Firebird is coming up, and Explorer is coming up, and SG is coming up. I'd like you guys to pick it. However, uh, it would really help me to know that somebody wanted to buy it when I was done because I physically have to buy this stuff and then build it up. So just like this last uh, Les Paul studio was done before we even, or was sold before we even ever shot the video. Uh, if somebody is interested in a project like this, I will build it up for you. I use it for the video. Um, and then ship it to you if you want it and I'll let you pick the guitar um, we'd really like to do that uh, that way because like I said I gotta buy these things so um, I reached out to stratosphereparts.com we'll see what they say um, but for now we're buying this stuff um, you know so that is the way it is um, but overall I really appreciate everybody's support and their comments and all that kind of stuff do me a favor and check out Patreon uh, because we're doing some kind of little behind the scenes stuff over there, some uncut stuff, um, some random little shots as I'm shooting things that you guys don't get to see on YouTube, as well as um, make sure that you check out our Facebook page. 
we have a lot of really spirited conversations and things going on over on the Facebook page at Dylan Talks Tone right now that I think you really would enjoy being a part of uh, over there. So definitely check out the Facebook page and uh, check out the website. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.